number 13 ranked UFC featherweight, Song Yudong. Hi, guys. Hi, Nya. Hello. All right, we're going to take our first question from James Lynch with the score. Hey, Song, uh, great to talk to you. Uh, there was some talk on social media of this fight almost not happening. What what happened there with you and Marlon Vera? Because he said the fight was off at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a little issue about um, the song's visa in between. So there might be a misunderstanding between that. Okay, glad to clarify that. How are you feeling uh, not having to cut down to bantamweight for this fight? It must be a lot better. So uh, within a shortened time, he feels a lot better with the um, pressure at 145. And, and how do you look at the Vera matchup from a style perspective? Um, I'm sorry? Uh, how, how do you look at the, how, how does he look at his opponent uh, in terms of it, uh, in terms of the matchup? Like, how does he feel like he matches up against his opponent? Um, so he felt it's a pretty good matchup between these guys. He's on uh, ranking number 13 and the opponent's ranking number 14, so it's about a good matchup. What type of training camp did you have uh, considering everyone's on lockdown? Uh, so we've been training more like personally at Team Athenal with the coaches and um, other um, teammates. And just last one for me, how do you envision the fight playing out on Saturday? Mm-hmm. You think he will finish um, with um, standing? Thank, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Andrew Whitelaw from Fox Sports Asia. Andrew, go ahead. So, uh, I just wondered for you, how does it feel having cracked that top 15 in the rankings? Are you happy with the trajectory your career is on right now? Um, he, he feels uh, good right now uh, for the ranking, and then he feels there's still a lot of space for him to um, uh, grow up and then a lot of to improve with his technique. You're on an unbelievable run at the moment, undefeated run. How far away do you feel you are from getting into that title conversation? So maybe another two or three beautiful winnings. And how's the feeling back in China? That was incredible numbers watching uh, Wei Li Zhang's fight. Does it feel like we're in a special moment right now for Chinese MMA? Um, so because of the, this um, special situation, um, for the time that Wei Li was fighting for um, her title again, second one, um, everybody was watching, watching that. A lot of people in China watching, and then. Um, 
after that, a lot of people knows about USC, knows about the UK. With the Contender Series moving out to Asia as well, do you think we can expect to see more exciting Chinese fighters in the UFC coming? Do you sense a lot of talent coming through at the moment? Um, so there are a lot of potential uh, fighters that training in PI in Shanghai. So he he knows that if there's um like fighting um after this uh, special situation, uh, there will be a lot of new fighters that show up. See, see any? Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Danny Segura from MMA Junkie. Danny, go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, I have a quick question regarding um, your, your training camp. Um, how, how long have you did you train in, San, in Sacramento for at Team Alpha Man? Okay. Um, so this time for the training camp, it's about um, two more weeks. Not not yet three. Oh, okay, so so um, he did a, a good amount of it in, in China. Uh, in Beijing, Oh uh, no, he didn't spend uh, time in China. He's already here about okay. half a year. Okay, so, so what exactly were like the visa issues uh, he was having? Because it seemed um, that conversation that got brought up on social with uh, Marlon Vera was not that long ago. I think it was a couple weeks ago. Uh huh. <laughs> um, so the um, athletes are required to use the P1 visa to um, fight in the U.S. And then someone was entering um, the U.S. Mm. this time with his uh, visitor visa. That not allows him to fight. And um, the um, government has been shut down for, this, uh, for the immigration stuff. And uh, we wouldn't have enough time to do it, but right now we've already clear about all this. So in the middle of the time, the manager probably has some um, miscommunication about the issue. So um, that was. Yeah, and in, in, in his last performance, uh, he got a draw. I'm curious, what what kind of lessons did he take away from that fight uh, that he's you know implementing in his in his career moving forward? Um, so it's more about gaining experiences and then also uh, the mentality. Uh, after that fight, my coach was uh, telling me every round is a new round that you have to uh, fight fresh. Uh, do not think about uh, previous what happened. Yeah. And uh, last question, is, is there any concern of maybe getting r rushed to the top uh, too quick? I mean, he's very young, but we also know that you know, he is having success. Also, Chinese MMA is, is blowing up right now. Um, does, does his coaches, his team himself, does he keep that in mind uh, of maybe, you know, trying to avoid maybe getting rushed to the top too fast or, or, or if he likes that? Uh, so my team was not rushed for anything. It's just um, we go with the flow. Um, with my performance, if I'm at the place, I will be.
Thank you. Next, we'll go to Ezekiel Bergonzi from Super Luchas. Ezekiel, go ahead. Hello, Song. How are you? Hi. Um, my first question is, uh, does this fight has a special meaning for you, given all that happened in the world and in China with the coronavirus stuff? I'm sorry, the last part, I didn't get it. Um, if this fight has a special meaning for him after all that happened with the coronavirus in the world and in China. So um, he was saying that um, all all make all makes for him is that he wants to make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and he's going against uh, Chito Vera, <clears throat> who is a very tough opponent. But both are fighting in a featherweight division, one division up. Um, how he feels about that going against uh, Chito Vera? Uh, in other division, and how he seems himself uh, going against uh, such a, a very hard opponent, which a very similar record to him. Okay, so for um, the weight part, I think it will give me better performance, not cutting that much as before. And then um, for the opponent, I think um, uh, we're like uh, similar with the ranking and everything else. But I think um, the mentality works uh, will um, be better. And my last question is, um, <laughs> are you considering to still going on on featherweight division after this fight or are you going back to bantamweight division and um, it doesn't matter if you win or lose um, what about that <laughs> Um, so uh, for this time, it's because of the special situation and then also a very short time of um, preparing. Uh, that's why it goes up to a further weight division. But after this, I will go back to banning weight. Well, thank you very much, guys, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. All right, guys, that's all we have for you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye.